Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News. It is safe to say that the youth are taking on the entrepreneurial spirit at a much younger age than we've ever seen before, with the aid of technology advancements, of course. We have seen entrepreneurs like Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook become billionaires through their drive to use technology to create wealth for themselves and also help others. And we've also seen the likes of Kylie Jenner using the internet to connect with their consumers. Neku Ataudi Edun, the general manager of Meltwater Entrepreneur School of Technology, a non profit that invests in and trains African entrepreneurs, is here today to discuss how they aim to create Africa's next tech entrepreneurs and provide jobs on the continent. Welcome to the morning show, Neku. Thank you. For Welcome to the morning me. show, Neku. Thank yeah, you guys so are doing an amazing job at this. Yes. Absolutely you so amazing <laughs> job. Thank you. It's so great to hear that people are actually taking, you know, the t the time to actually nurture people who have talent yeah. in such a sphere where it is a sector where people are actually going to be needed in the future, even, yeah. even now. Yeah, exactly. But we're going to start off with a video of mm. what MEST actually does, and then we'll talk. So MEST was created with the belief that talent is evenly distributed. We believe that Africa, with a large population of a billion people, will have an opportunity to take a big and impactful role in the future development of software and IT worldwide. The MEST program consists of three components. The first is the actual training program. The second part is a seed fund, the back of the final examination, which is, which is an investment pitch. And if our graduates are able to convince a real world panel, then we provide funding. And the third part of the MES program is our incubators. So once you have graduated and received funding, then you can walk over to the bridge to get an incubator here in Ghana or to one of the incubators in one of the other markets. One of the best supports I get from Ming is just the community of people here. So just the network, the rich network of people and the experience they have here is what has really helped us through all this well. The resources, the community, the general like access to investors and the network in Silicon Valley and, and the fact that now we're present in more than four countries and we're going to be expanding soon is a huge benefit for the entrepreneurs, especially it reinforces the mission and vision of MESS which is to create pan-African businesses and create pan-African impact. We are dealing with multiple companies and all of these companies have completely different challenges. You learn so much from, from these companies that um, you don't really expect and the experience here is, is, is awesome. I'm from Durban, South Africa. Mass, it was exactly what I expected it to be. The people, the energy, it's not about where you are, it's about the people. I'm from Nigeria. And I'm a big believer in what Yon preaches, which is talents everywhere, but opportunity is not. So I feel like I'm, I'm a better person in a, in a lot of ways um, after my one year here at Mass. We started this. Um, from MEST 2013, we fundraised seed funding from Yon. Uh, we managed to also do a Series A funding from another investor. And since then, I'm happy to say that we are the number one real estate site in Ghana. Now that I'm not operating fully from me, I, I get a lot of support from them. You know, if I need any networking opportunity, I mean, I show them an email and they are always willing to support. I think now we've reached a stage whereby, you know, the companies are beginning to get a bit more mature. They're starting to think a little bit more Pan-African and we want to grow together with them. We want, we want the house to grow to fit the growing family and their aspirations. That's so it does insightful. look like a lot mm -hmm. is being done by MEST. Yes. And I, I want to ask, in your opinion, do you think everyone has it in them to be a tech guru? Because it's all about people finding solutions to problems. Um, I, I absolutely do not think that everybody <laughs> needs to be an entrepreneur. There's a lot of successful career people. Right. Um, in Africa, SMEs are the largest creators for jobs. And so we want to empower more entrepreneurs to be able to create those jobs and create solutions right. that can scale globally. Right, right. right. And what kind of resources does um, MEST actually provide for individuals in the incubators? Yes, excellent question. Um, so we give them funding. We take equity and we, we fund up to a quarter of a million dollars. Um, we give you Amazon hosting. Um, we open our network to you. We bring in people that can give masterclasses. So we'd have like Stephanie come and teach you how to talk. Uh, so just really a shared resource with 
opening up our networks and things that we're able to offer to the to, to the entrepreneurs. Right, and how do you find these people, or do they find you? You know, do people come to you asking for for help, or do you spot a certain company, a certain small business, and decide, you know, what this person can do more with the resources we're offering? So it's a bit of both. Um, we've got a three-step process. We're about to go into recruitment now. We go all around Africa, so we've got our recruitment people literally on the plane the whole time, um, finding the most aspiring entrepreneurs. Right. And then we, you know, interview them. It's about something about 0.5% of people get in. So it's... 0.5%? 0.5% of what? people get in, so About yes. how many applications do you get? Oh, we get thousands. Wow. And in the end, we get about 100 people wow. that, that start the class. And then we do a year's program just teaching you um, how to code, how to build a financial model, how to build a business model. Because it's more than just coding. Mm. It's right. about building a business, how to be a marketer, how to speak to people. Um, and then they pitch the ideas to us. And then the ideas that we see a potential in, then we invest in those. And then right. they come to the incubators. Right. So, it's, so people that are actually listening now, and maybe they're interested, but what exactly are you looking for? Because 0.5% is, yes. is a small yes. number. Yes. So small. what kind of skill set or what kind of a, a drive or ambition is MESS looking for in the individual that they're looking to recruit? We're uh, looking for people that look at problems and see solutions. I think for starters, in Africa, a lot of our issues are um, one, issues that technology can solve, mm -hmm. but two, they're very community-specific. Our issues are very different from global issues. Yeah. So we want people that are able to see problems in their community mm -hmm. and think about how they can use technology to solve that. So that's a first. When they come in, we, we want people that, you know, are talking about solutions and not just complaining about it took me hours to get here today. Yeah. Or, but they're talking about, oh, I wish I could do this instead. Right. So we like that. Um, we definitely love passion. We love. Um, we want people that really believe that they can change the world, mm -hmm. and we want to help you to do that. And we'd like to see that you've been able to work in teams before, because with Inmest, we'll put you together in a team and that brings out your different skills. Um, so having some sort of experience with that is great. But we have. I, I, I can't say one specific thing that we look for mm. across the board because we have such an eclectic group of, of um, entrepreneurs from right. all around Africa. So we just want people looking for um, how they can solve some of Africa's problems. problems yeah. yeah. Talking about Africa's problems, on a, on a macro level, do you think we, we are not taking technology as serious as we should be as a continent? Because Dubai now is talking about coding for kids. So from grade school, like from primary school, these kids are going to be taught coding. So whether or not you want to go on to be a ballerina, you want to go on to be a chef, you want to go on to be a doctor, whatever it is, you will know the mm. basic coding principles. So do you think it's something that Africa really should be thinking about as a continent? Absolutely. Um, at the moment, I think that some states, you'll find pockets that are taking technology uh, more seriously, Dubai, for example. Yeah. I think Lagos State is doing a great job with LSETF and they're about to do Lagos Innovate. So they're really trying to encourage more mm. people to, um, you know, foster techno technological solutions. Can we do more? Absolutely. We can, <laughs> we can always, we can do, always more. do more. Um, <laughs> but yes, just groups like what we're doing, yeah. you know, a, a little bit of impact is better than no impact. Right. So, so we're really interested because I feel like there's a lot of people at home that want to know more about how this. to apply. So how to yeah, apply? To when is it recruitment actually starting? Is we've part or have we passed the deadline? No, no, when is no. The deadline? No, I would not be on here. <laughs> we we just, um, so we have info sessions mm -hmm. starting um, in a couple couple weeks. Uh, if you go on our website, we have one start of April in Lagos. And we're now trying to just move out of Lagos because a lot of these things are so saturated in yeah. Lagos. So we've got info sessions happening in Abuja as well. Um, we have one in Ventures Platform and Civic Hub. So just pop in, ask questions. Um, a lot of people have questions about what we do, what the structure works like. So I, I recommend coming into one of those info sessions. Let's meet you, get your questions answered. And then we start um, the application process in May. Right. right, and then from the, and then from then, where where is the where is the hub? Where is the where do they? So our out? school, our training program is in Accra. 
Okay. Um, so all the students go to Accra and spend the year there. It's fully sponsored. So you get board, feeding, and you get a bit to live off of as well. Um, and we fly you there and everything. And then when you hopefully get uh, investment, then you go to one of the different um, hubs around Africa. So at the moment, we're in Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, and Ivory Coast. Right. And the one you're doing now is for Nigeria? Yes. So okay. now we're, we've just closed South Africa. This okay. is our second year there. Um, and now we're doing Nigeria. We always get great, great people from Nigeria because it's such an active yeah. Yeah. ecosystem. Um, but yes, I would love, love, love to get some more <laughs> girls. Yes. So anyone that knows any girl interested in technology yes. or... And just remember, as a female in tech, you do not have to be the person coding. You can wow. be the marketing person, you mm. can be the biz dev. Mm. So don't be you know, dismayed because you're not in front of the computer and able no. to code. I can't code. Um, <laughs> uh, how can we actually, um, you know, promote coding for girls and mm. also give them the confidence? Because some of the things, you know, obviously in the world, like be, being a mechanic, you know, the way it's portrayed is like yeah, so many like guys that should do that. Mm. So how can we actually change the narrative as well as individuals to, to help people get into industries that is not necessarily their gender, gender roles, <laughs> what's always yeah, stereotype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of groups in Nigeria are actively trying to do that. And Della just hosted their first uh, Women in Tech Summit, which we spoke at. And just the interest and the amount of women that come out there, I'm always very inspired just speaking with these young girls. Cisco did something similar, Microsoft. So I think now we're actively, you know, we know that Women bring so much more to the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the female entrepreneurs, they cover everything. And because we're not as, um, we don't jump into the water before testing yes. it like men do, we tend to make sure that all the different, we have our ducks mm -hmm. in a row. And I'm actually, I think the female entrepreneurs are the ones that... Yeah, we yeah. are very intentional. And but because we are very intentional, we, as you said, we tend to take a step back yes. before yes. jumping in, which, yes. makes, which makes our choices sometimes a bit better than yes. men, dare yes. I say yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, one thing that's on my mind, though, is the stats for startups is, is not really encouraging. I think Forbes released a report like two years ago saying eight out of ten Eight out of ten startups would not last. Mm. So, what is Mester doing to ensure that these companies, after going through your incubator program, stay in business? Yes, of course. Um, I think it's actually worse than that. I think it's something like one out of ten companies become successful, um, and that's across the board, all over the world. What we're trying to do is to make sure that we have more companies, so that the possibility of one becoming successful. That it's probability more. is higher. <laughs> yeah. In Nigeria, there's this big, you know, failure to fear, uh, to fail rather, mm -hmm. um, fear to fail. Yeah. Uh, because it's it's just such a diff difficult market to fail in. Um, but we want to make it, you know, we want to provide risk tolerant capital right. so that entrepreneurs are, they feel safer to explore those innovative ideas that could potentially, you know, solve some of these problems, problems that we have. Yeah. So that's really what we're trying to do to, to make more successful companies. You need more people playing. Thanks right. for having yeah. you on the morning show. Thank how you. can people reach you? And how can people reach Mest as well? Yes, well, you can find me on Twitter. It's Neku AE, and you can ask me any question on there. And Mest, you can go on our website, meltwater.org. Um, I'm sure you're going to put it yes. up. Yes, <laughs> she's like, yes, amazing. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank well, you. that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you so much for watching. From the entire morning show team here in Lagos, all that's left to say is enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.